Hi everybody, Cindy Ellers here from Cindy Stamping Studio. I'm located in the central part of Wisconsin and I just want to welcome you all to my studio which I call Cindy Stamping Studio. I'm one minute early and that's okay because I will get myself set up on my Kindle and on my laptop. so that I can see your comments. So, no problems. Sometimes it takes me a minute to get everything all in sync. I see I have one person already on, and that's great. Welcome. Nice to see you. Okay. There we go. And here I am. Pauline. Nice to see you, Pauline. And there's Debbie Vine. I recognize that picture right away. And Jeannie Mullen. Good evening from rainy Woodstock, Virginia. I thought about you, Jeannie, today with when I watched the news reports of the hurricane and hopefully you didn't have any damage. And... It's just unbelievable, beyond devastating, in my opinion. Okay. There we go. There we are. We haven't had rain in so long that we could use some. I don't know if we, I don't know if there's any in our forecast, but I do know it's finally gonna cool off, and that is great. Jeannie says she's safe. Well, that is good. I'm happy to hear that. Um, so we have a lot going on. I'm way ahead of myself. I got my October newsletter out today because there's so much stuff happening with Stamping Up starting tomorrow, October 1st. Oh, and by the way, today is Monday, September 30th, 2024. And Sherry Martin, and she's already shared already. And there's Linda Hodge. Nice to see you. Okay, let's see. As you all know, we had the clearance rack refresh that happened last week. There's still a lot of good things out there, up to 60% off. And tomorrow starts the kits collection sale. That's up to 30% off on kits. Uh, there's a new starter kit special, October 1st, starting tomorrow, for the whole month of October, you receive $155 of Stamping Up product for $99. Wow, huh? Nothing like getting $56 worth of Stamping Up product free. And it's free shipping on that order. You don't have to do a thing. There's no obligation to continue. You can if you want, but you don't have to. You can just buy the starter kit for $99 because you have a big wish list. So that's pretty cool. And Jeannie has shared also, and there's Tracy Kranz, and there's my cousin Sally Becker. Nice to see you. Um, don't forget, the scrapbooking brochure is digital. You can see that on the Stamping Up website. And World Card Making Day is coming October 5th, which is Saturday. And it's free, but you do have to register for it. So all you have to do is just go to the stamping um, website. You'll see the banner. Click on that, and they'll set you all up. Okay, I have a couple of door prizes. There's Rita Jacoby and Kay Wire. Nice to see both of you. And Debbie Vine has shared. Thank you. Okay, we have, for comments, we have these pretty, oh, peach pie, I think they are. Yeah, peach pie sequins for Marsha Lynn Spatek from Wisconsin. So, Marsha, I'll be sending these to you. And... This one, well, that's great, Jeannie. When the rain started, with the rain, I started my Christmas cards. Well, that's great because 
for sharing hopefully these bubble bath sequins you can find a use for them they're going to be sent to Jeannie Mullen in Virginia so congratulations Jeannie I'm going to go and send these to you and KY liked and shared thank you thank you thank you I appreciate you all so much if you decide if you're not a demonstrator and you would like to take advantage of the October starter kit special I would be honored if you wanted to sign up under me. If you have any questions, send me a message and I'm sure I can find the answers for you. Okay, I'm gonna flip my camera around because I have lots of cards to share with you. And yeah, so hang on, let's see. I gotta find my button. There we go. There you are. You can see how beautiful it is outside. And, and I'm going to flip my camera and raise it up so we can see what's happening. Oh, there. I think that turned out really well. Yeah. Okay. Um, I printed out the flyer up to 30% off all our kits from the kits collection. Yeah. Okay. So this looks okay. So far so good. Here is my um, technique class that's coming up October 8th. Now I know a lot of you are out of my area, but these classes, all of my classes are available as a class to go. So with the technique class, it is going to be stamping with masks and we'll be using the Frosted Forest online exclusive set with two different masks and make some beautiful cards. I just fi finished the fancy fold today, so I am ready to go. Um, the in-person class is October 8th and we like to get started at by 5.30 p.m. If you know somebody in the Nilsa area, which would cover Greenwood and Granton and Loyal, why not invite them to join us? We would love to have them. And you get to make three cards. I have yet to raise my price. It's three cards for $10. Um, it hasn't gone up since we started, which is 13 years. So. Send me a message if you'd like to join us or if you'd like the class to go. Oh, I have, because I did my, um, because I did my, uh, newsletter. We have a winner for the September online orders and they're going to go to Linda Yakmastal. And I have no clue if I said that right, but Linda is in Wisconsin and I think Kay can let her know because I haven't seen Linda on here yet. Oh, there's Sandy's son. Finally able to con comment. Well, good. I'm glad you were able to figure it out, Linda. And there's Karen Halterman. Beautiful day in Iowa. It was beautiful here in Wisconsin, but I'm looking forward to tomorrow because a cold front is coming through. And I'm ready for cooler fall temperatures. Today it was up to 80 again, but tomorrow's high is supposed to be mid-60s. And that's me. That's my kind of weather. Okay, I received some beautiful cards in the mail. I got this card in the mail from Cheryl Merzinic. Oops, it's a fancy fold. Nice and simple, it's very pretty. And I made, this one I didn't receive in the mail, but I wanted to make a sample up of our October technique stamping with masks. So I made this one. We're not making this card, but I had to practice. So that's my practice card. And we have 
Now, let's see. Don't look, Debbie Vine. But here are the September stamp of the month, which was Winterly Tree Taps. So here's card number one. I think that's very pretty with, in you know, a non-traditional color of Misty Moonlight using the Winter Meadow Designer Series paper that carried over from last year. It turned out nice. Here's the second one with the cute little chickadee, a hello card. Here's the third one, sending thanks. I thought that turned out nice. And here was the last one with the Blue Jays. And making the, instead of using white, I use shaded spruce for the pine um, frame. Oh, there is Ronnie Kayser Smith. Nice to see you too. That's great. So good to see you all. I think I'm all caught up. All right. So, and the Stamp of the Month cards, they are available until the 15th of October. I have to tell you, I've been really, these kits have went over really well. It takes a lot of my time to make them, and I've never, ever increased my price. I'm afraid I'm going to, for the cards only, I'm going to have to increase it. And I'm not quite sure what to, but I will keep you updated. Because four cards for five dollars, that's pretty cheap. Okay, Christmas cards. The October Christmas card class is coming up the 16th of October. Here's a new one using Shepherd's Cane. I thought that turned out really nice. I haven't posted these on my blog yet, but I will be soon. You can sign up for a May time. Make the season sparkle. That was very popular. Here is another very popular one. And this one uses the Fragrant Forest. And here is a new one using Hang an Ornament. Okay, this one is carried over for one more month. And the Very Merry one carried over for one more month. So did the Slud and Boots. And here's a new one, Peace on Earth. Now this is a retired set, and I apologize, but... I was waiting for my Shepherd's King set to come, and I made this card. It turned out so pretty, and I just had to include it. It uses the Angels of Peace, which in this day and age, I don't think it goes out of style. Well, thank you, Karen Halterman, for your comments. I appreciate it. And this one is a new one also. From Our House to Yours, Humble Home, and it's using the Sentimental Christmas Layer, which I just think, I like this, you know, it's old-fashioned, I guess, and I love these little peppermints. Okay? I thought I had that there. I very possibly did. And it moved. I hate that when that happens. That's supposed to be there. That's the way it's supposed to be. It's right there. So here are our October Christmas card class. Oh, thank you, Karen. I appreciate that. I know I'm getting to the point with, and I'm afraid with the strike that's on the horizon for the shipping, I got a feeling we're going to be looking at big delays all over with stamping, with our clothing, everything. So 
I guess if I can use a if I can use a retired set and make a beautiful card, so be it. Tonight's tonight's stamp set that we're using is called Caring Leaves. We're going to use Early Espresso, Crushed Curry, and Pumpkin Pie. And what I'm doing tonight with this very simple set is this week I'm going to just stamp. We get so caught up with embossing folders, with dies, and it's kind of nice to just do a simple card and just stamp. So that's what I'm doing. So let's put this aside. I have to use a paper piercing. Oh, I might as well get my packet out first. We're making a fancy fold. Very simple fancy fold. All right, so our base is five and a half by seven scored at two and three quarters. So when it closes, it'll look like this. Okay, we have a white piece that will go on the inside. And this will be our decoration. For the inside so I can put that together already and you can order your October Christmas cards for your Christmas card kits anytime don't waste wait till the last minute because if there's designer paper involved that's what happens the sell out very quickly okay so this is this is going to be our inside it will go right on the inside of our card just like so we can put that now we're not going to put that down we're going to wait this is the next piece we have a layer of cajun craze which is two and a half by five and a quarter we have a white um layer which is two and a quarter by five We'll go right on top of here. Because this, these are photopolymer stamps, I have to use the paper piercing. And I also want to go and use a mask where my um, where my greeting will go. I can go and stamp that right away using El Espresso. Okay, some things never change. We're going to put it right here, just like so. Okay, now, let me put that aside. Now I'm going to use my mask, and as you can see, it's right there. And I must have ink. We'll cover that up. No problem. So I'm going to use paper pumpkin. Paper pumpkin. Pumpkin pie. How is that? And we're going to use our oak leaves. So I'll ink this up. And I'm going to put that there. I'm going to Put another one right there. And I'm going to turn it upside down and put another one right there. Okay? So much for pumpkin pie. And there's Karina Bouvier. She shared. Thank you. And Karen Halterman also shared. So I want to make sure I didn't forget to thank you. Now I'm going to use the birch leaves. I believe that's birch leaves. I'm making a card that doesn't have a maple leaf on it. How about that? That's what I say. I don't want to...
Patty Weed. She shared. Thank you, Patty. Whoops. Get that mask back up there. I hope everybody had a good weekend. What did we do? We were just busy around the house this week. And there's nothing wrong with that. Oh, I gotta still have the paper piercing. I do. Pad. We are now going to outline our leaves with Early Espresso. I have found that if I have the leaf going the right direction, makes it easier for me. Well, that was good. And we can do this one. That one wasn't so good. Oh well. Oh, I missed that one. Leaves are just starting to turn here, which is surprising because it's October tomorrow. But we've been so warm. I think that there, much better. I forgot to use this. But we've been so warm. I think that has made a big difference. Pick the Jim and I picked up, we have an apple tree. And we picked all the apples today because the birds have decided that they like apples. So we have to go and there, there's our friend. We have to try and salvage what we can from the birds. Alrighty. Now, uh, a lot of times when you say, I'm making a fancy fold today, some people say, oh, no, not going to make a fancy fold. It's too complicated. This one is not. This one is super easy. Gives you that wow factor. Is that card base? I'm not one to make the... I am not one that's going to take a couple hours to make a card. I like to figure out a card that... Oh, look, and I forgot that one. How did I do that? Oh, for Pete's sake. Let me get my paper pierce. I'm not sure if I even need it. So there's that. Now the inside. We're going to some things never change. You're simply the best. I like the script. I like the font on that. That's very pretty. Okay. This weekend, we got a busy week. This weekend, we're going to go watch Easton play football. So that's always fun. We have to make a supply run. Look at how that turned out. Turned out great. 
And I, the, oh, this designer series paper, this is the Iconic Celebrations paper. It's a six by six pack. And we're going to use the faux glass dots. I'm going to use one in Crush Curry. And I'm going to use one in Cajun Craze. There. Well, that turned out nice. Is it right, Karen? Um, it's just a nice, simple card. And I think it turned out, you know, because I think we get too wrapped up with letting the designer series paper do all the work for us. Sometimes we have to do it ourselves. And this is the one I made earlier. And as you can see, my leaves turned out way better. But they both are good. So, yeah. Um, I'm glad you liked the card. Come back next Monday. I'll have another card to share with you. And we'll do some more stamping. And look at, I'm done early again. I, I'm liking that. I hope you like that, too. I really like your nice and simple card. Well, Karen, I'll have all of the directions and dimensions on Thursday listed on my blog. And you can find that at Cindy's Stamping Studio. You just do a search for that. It'll come right up. Well, of course, I do share it on Facebook, so you can just wait till I share it, too. Whatever you want. Okay? All right. Thanks for tuning in. I appreciate you all. Have a great rest of the week. Thank you.